So what is a Battletech campaign? That's the narrative that we're going to explore. That's the checklist we're going to build here. We're going to step back from mech reviews and tactics, and we're going to jump back to mech reviews in a little bit. Clan invasion, it's getting closer and closer. So we need to position ourselves, whether you're representing the clans or you're doing the inner sphere thing. But ultimately, uh, this is true of any miniature system that I enjoy. X-Wing miniatures, Chain of Command, Warhammer 40K. I want to get the most out of my models. I want us to meet head-to-head, friend to friend, put down our toys, and and really try to push that narrative. And admittedly, while most of my Battletech games are, you know, 6 to 8 to 12k battle value, build your mechs, bring your tanks, bring your toys, and go head to head, and let's just blow each other up. Who wins at the end of the evening? Um, Who got mauled the most? There's no right or wrong way to play Battletech. But a campaign is something to explore. And when I played my Battletech campaigns... I've enjoyed them. You know, they've been three, four, five months. I think the longest campaign we had was five to six months. And uh, there's a lot of variety in how you can play that. So let's look at this idea of a campaign and the narrative. This could be something that you just run or certainly pulling in some of the Battletech supplements that Catalyst has to run a campaign. The mechanics are similar. You start the campaign with a set number of C-bills. And it's a lot. It's a lot of money. You're setting up a mercenary company. And based on that, you go out and buy mechs, buy infantry, buy tanks, buy air support, buy ammunition, um, buy structure, spare parts for your mechs. Essentially, you, you develop an entire mercenary company. Once that's done, you're locked in. You commit to the campaign. And the first mission, you know, it's like literally you have like your player roster on here of all your tech and all your tools and all your toys. The first campaign, you decide these are the forces I want to bring. And the battle will say, you know, first battle, 5K battle value. You pull 5K battle value from your list. You play the mission. Now, if you win or you lose, it goes in a different direction or it gives you some victory points or battle points. But the damage that you take, the resources that you use in that battle now carry over. So suddenly ammunition means everything. All my longbows, all my archers, all my multiple LRM carriers, every turn, real time, I'm shooting out close to a thousand real time missiles. Crunch the numbers, do the math. I'm putting like a thousand missiles up. No joke. In in some of the larger campaigns. Somebody's got to pay for that. Um, A one on one battle, you know, you just check go off the ammo as you go, suddenly in a campaign, you got to pay for that out of your reserves, out of the money that you have. So now this leads to building the list ahead of time. Maybe you take a lot of energy mechs and you don't worry. Maybe you take a combination. Um, Likewise, as your mechs take damage, you need to repair that at the end of the battle or at certain points in the campaign. Mixed into that is also the opportunity for salvage. So based on who wins the mission and based on the positioning of where your mechs were destroyed and and what happened, you will be able to recover certain mechs or you will be able to recover certain aspects of the game. Um, In one of the campaigns that I played, first game, I fielded a Cyclops. I wanted to get a budget assault mech in there. I wanted a good anchor point. The idea was to have the Cyclops hang back a little bit, uh, supported by a Dervish and a couple of other missile mechs, and then send out a couple of light mechs just just to recon. We had to locate a hidden downed pilot, an enemy pilot that both of us wanted to capture. My opponent had a mech buster. He flies this mech buster in. Um, I, of course, just open up fire on it, just trash it out of the sky, destroy it. But it was able to make that run, that strafing run, hits my Cyclops, roll to hit, hit. Roll for damage, 12 head blows my head off cyclops is out well first my pilot got killed um pilots also gain experience in a campaign okay it's the start of the campaign that's that's good at least it's not like i was six or seven missions in and i lost this pilot i lose the experience because he couldn't eject okay but now not only was the cyclops taken out of the battle but the fact was i had to make a decision now because it was destroyed in my deployment zone i recover it If that happened in my opponent's deployment zone or if they won the mission and it was in out in the middle and they were able to dominate the field where their mechs are, they've just recovered a fully 
pretty much intact Cyclops that they could fix, that they could scrap. Um, I was able to retrieve it. So now I have the question to ask, and it gets expensive to repair. Not as expensive as getting cored out, but it's different than getting your arm blown off versus your head. To replace those mechanics, to replace those systems, those sensors, do I want to do it? Um, If it was a light mech or a medium, granted it costs less, I probably wouldn't have. I just would have scrapped it or taken the parts. But I, I was able to repair it, and I did repair it. What this leads as the campaign goes on, and it's give and take, and of course you can discover stuff and get contracts. You, uh, at the end of the campaign, we were about 19, 20 missions in. And we're both fielding mechs that uh, we had to discover some lost tech. It was kind of like the last battle, winner takes all the marbles. And we're, we're fielding mechs that I'm fielding like wasps and stingers with like their arms blown off. So they're just like moving targets. We've got assault mechs that just are stripped down or mechs that I've removed all of the armor off the back because I'm out of armor. I'm out of points. I'm out of C-bills. I'm out of everything. So it's like strip all the armor off the back, throw it all on the front. Um, We've got mechs that had PPCs, but they got damaged. So I had to downgrade them to large lasers. I'm, I'm pulling large lasers off scrapped mechs, throwing them on my Marauder that got both its arms blown off. You get into some really, really fun and interesting combinations. You know, you, you got to go to war with what you have, not what you want. And through the campaign, you need to make very, very challenging and hard decisions of what are you going to repair? What are you going to salvage? Um, Sometimes in the mission, you realize, I'm going to lose this mission. But if I can lure in some enemy mechs and destroy them and recover them in my deployment zone, I lost the mission, but I gained a lot of resources. Or maybe you realize, I can win this mission, but it's just going to cost me so much in resources. Maybe I want to lose the mission. Maybe I want my opponent to, depending on where it branches off in the narrative, maybe I just want to try and do as much damage and let them win the mission, but overextend themselves. And it's like, congratulations, you won the mission, but everything's completely destroyed. I mean, so many different options. So I want to encourage you, even if you're new to Battletech and you're learning the rules and you're learning the narrative and you've got the tech manuals, um, the ultimate aim of Battletech, in my opinion, let's squeeze the most that we can out of our miniatures. Let's explore this universe the most that we can, have the most fun, And again, head-to-head are most of my battles, but look at a campaign. Look at pulling in elements of role-playing. Look at pulling in elements of experience and and micro-experience for your pilots. I've pushed a lot of this up to my channel under the Battletech playlist, and now I'm going to turn it over to you guys, the Battletech enthusiasts. Advice for playing in a campaign or your most interesting, aha, campaign moment. I'll, I'll leave you with this story. Made it to the end of the campaign. Again, final battle. I had an awesome. You knew I was going to take an awesome, right? I actually took three. I mean, we had so many sea bills It was crazy. But I've got my one awesome left. Both arms blown off. It's got the two PPCs. It's got minimal armor on the legs because I had to just... I'm pulling armor off everything. I mean, I'm, I'm like scrapping building metal and welding it onto my mech. Primitive armor is, is like everywhere. I figure I'll hide try to get level one block off the legs, took all the armor off the back of this mech, put it all on the front. Um, I mean, we were going to war with machines that were literally barely holding it together. And it was a very, very epic, epic fight at the end. 